Hey, I finally caved and got the Barbie 35th anniversary Teresa doll, and I mostly got it. Got her for her dress, honestly, that dress, but I want to take a closer look. So, let me get her out. You ready? So what do you guys think? Did you like her? Did you get it? I still am not sure myself. I am still not sure myself, but this dress is gorgeous. I love her yellow dress. And yes, I will be taking her out of box because like I said, I pretty much wanted that dress and I guess that's what I've been buying a lot of these dolls for lately is their clothes because they're well designed but for me personally I love their clothes so let me show you the front and this box is gorgeous color it's got a little bit of a leaf on the front here and here and like a little bit I think it's palm yep here we go so palm leaves and trees so here's what she's supposed to be based on I think they did a great great job there's a lot more yellow and I love their dress that they made for her either way and I think they did a nice update on the face and uh, I'm gonna get her out of box now so I'll be back then okay so I got her out of the box and I thought maybe you might like to see her without any glare and so her face is a very pretty face I really don't know the face sculpt offhand. I'll have to look it up and I'll add it in here. And I'll add it in. Um, um, she has cute little palm tree earrings and her gold purse actually has palm trees on it. It's really cool. But yeah, she's really cool. And I really like this dress. She does come with a stand and certificate. So I'm going to finish getting her out of the box and I'll show you some skin tone matches in case you actually want to rebody her. I'll be back. Alright, so I have her out of box. She's got this beautiful ring here, and you can see her palm tree earrings. And they are removable, which is awesome. And she has two gold bangles. And her dress is very nice. Um, it is like a um What's that material called? I'm not great with materials, but it is um, cinched at the edges for um, to inhibit the, the frame and to just um, keep the bulk down so it looks nicer. And uh, she has like a side, a low side ponytail, and there is some gel in there. And it is nice and long in the back with that high low hem. Now, her one shoe here in the front is kind of, like, um, not fitting the greatest. I bet this will fit my, uh, model, the Model Muse shoes will fit the... Model Muse shoes fit Barbies that have the flat feet, um, but have the ankle joint. So, these will fit probably better on the made-to-move dolls. I am... I am liking her face the more I see it. I think maybe maybe a little bit of um, a hairstyle change would be good. Here's her purse. I did not take it out of the plastic quite yet, but um, you can see there's some gold palm trees on there. And that's really cool. I was going to try to take it out, because it seems like it would open. I doubt it does, but... Oh my goodness! <gasps> Check this out. It actually opens. Like, awesome. That is so cool. It actually has like a hinge down there. And that is so cool. I love that. This is super cool. Seriously, love it. Now it is just a simple hinge, so um, might have some issue with it if you're too rough with it. Um, 
because it is kind of stiff but it does open and that is super cool I love that but yeah so I don't like that they don't have handles because she can't actually hold it but yeah so as for skin tones for comparison um, they're not the most current dolls, um, but she does have kind of a lighter tone, and I was going through some of my dolls, and I found the orange top is a bit dark, as you can see, so unfortunately I don't think we have any petites um, in this skin tone yet, and I think there is a normal regular size. Um, but I also found that the basketball player, though she is a hair darker, she does seem to be, oh, sorry, she does seem to be a very good match, so she will probably get put on a tall body, as I do think I have another one of these. If I had a petite in this, I would steal a tall body for her and put her head on a petite, but, um, yeah. So those are the two that I have found, and I haven't really found any more. Um, I am thinking, though, that the Made to Move Yoga dolls, the ones with the floral leggings and the bun on the head, would be a good match, and possibly the green shirt with the, like the tie-dye green leggings Made to Move Yoga. I don't have any handy. Um, but I'm thinking that they would be light enough that they would match. I think those two are going to be your best bet on, um, matches if you want to rebody her. And for me, I'm thinking I probably will. I just got to find the right match for her in my stash. And like I said, I will probably do tall because she seems to be a good match. Um, you know, hang on, let me go see. So I have a couple of dolls to compare her to for skin tone matches, and um, I believe the sports ones, like the baseball player and the soccer, they're going to be a little too light. So unfortunately, because I have a couple of these ones, um, I always have a hard time trying to find a match for these. Um, but they're going to be too light. But I did find the Dancer Curvy. She will be a decent match, so you can use her. She can be hard to find though, but if you want curvy. Alright, so also one of the lighter options is going to be the first release blue top. Uh, not second release, she'll be too dark, um, but she will be an okay match if you have one. Um, otherwise, she can be hard to find. Her box is shaped slightly different than the one you usually will get, which is all squared corners. Um, she has a rounded corner. So that would work if you have one, or if you can find one, just they can be expensive, some people know. Um, but yeah, so she'll work, but she's a little light. Um, if you want to do tall, the basketball player would be a good one. She is a very um, close match, she is just slightly darker, but still at the same time light enough to work. Like. It's weird in my light here, but I, I've checked in a couple different lights, and she will work. She's a good enough match. And then also, um, if you have a Lori Hernandez doll, she is actually a good match too for a regular or um, standard size made to move. Um, she is currently dressed as a pirate. Uh, one of my favorites, it was a Disney Descendants outfit. But unfortunately, it was all one piece, so that's a shame, because these tights are really cool. But yeah, so I actually have an extra of her, and I am probably going to use her. I'm back. She is on the new body. Now she has 22 points of articulation, and she's standard size. She will be able to fit clothes, including her dress, which um, the inside looks really good. It's well-stitched, tagged, and it was knotted behind her neck, and she was sewn in, so just be careful with that. And uh, yeah, it it's pretty well done. There are like a couple threads here at the back where... Um, she was sewn in, but that's, that's about it, and she will look great in it, again, um, 
but yeah so now there was a couple of pieces of double-sided stick tape and as you can see she is on the model muse body so but yeah so she is now articulated and she'll be ready to add to my collection and we'll see if she wears her dress <laughs> all right thank you for watching like and subscribe bye